Joyce, um, listen to Rudy Giuliani talking to, to The Hill and talking about the Mueller investigation, and then tell me what you think. Let's play it. The thing they started investigating isn't a crime. Collusion. Is there anything and that the Mueller... second thing they investigated isn't a crime. Obstruction. And the third thing they're investigating, uh, the, uh, the donations, uh, the campaign finance uh, donations, ma making the payments to Stormy Daniels and McDougal payments. That's exactly the same thing they tried in the Edwards case in asking the, um, uh, the FBI in the, in the, in the name of uh, Comey to go easy on Flynn. He was just doing what thousands of people do with prosecutors and judges and plead for mercy. He could have done far more than that as the president. He could have ordered him to not prosecute Flynn. He has that power under Article 2. What is this legal strategy, Joyce? He sounds worried to me, Katie. I think that they're increasingly concerned that Mueller has strong evidence on all counts. Conspiracy, we've talked about a lot, and if there's evidence that an agreement was reached to do something illegal in connection with the election, then Mueller will certainly indict the appropriate people. Obstruction hits a lot closer to home for the president, at least based on what we've seen publicly. And there is strong evidence in that area of obstruction committed in public view. Rudy Giuliani, a former U.S. attorney, knows that. And similarly, it's his old office that's looking at campaign finance violations. Based on the public record, we know that the president is exposed, and we know that the president is deeply concerned, based upon reporting last week, that he talked with his acting attorney general, Matt Whitaker, and said he was upset about prosecutors in the Southern District of New York who were going rogue. For this president, going rogue means investigating me personally. They look concerned. Mueller is undoubtedly closing in with a request to subpoena Trump to the grand jury if he won't testify voluntarily. They've got to be feeling the pressure at this point. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel. So thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC. MTP and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.